We know you love Google, but sometimes it's not the best way to get the right sources for your academic paper. So here's the difference between searching Google, EBSCO, and the individual academic databases available from Penfield Library. For the purposes of this analogy, let's say that we're looking for soup. Quality soup. Scholarly soup. Peer-reviewed soup. Often your professors say they want three to eight cans of soup for each paper. The problem with Google is that it's really big. It also doesn't specialize in soup. It's kind of like going to a giant mall, like Destiny USA, and starting on one end and going through to the other. You might find some things related to soup, or about soup, or even celebrating soup, but it's going to take you a while to find actual soup. And sometimes those other soup sources can be great, but, and this is the most important thing, they are not what your professor asked for. And since your prof grades your paper, there are some tricks to narrow Google down, though. One of our favorites is the site colon operator. This restricts the search engine to one site or suffix. This is particularly useful for finding government statistics. Basically, it ensures you're looking for t-shirts in the clothing store. EBSCO, on the other hand, is a group of academic databases. It's like you went to a nice grocery store. The advantage is that it's full of food, including soup and things you can make soup out of. Not everything is soup, but there are a lot fewer t-shirts and movies. Now, you can search all of the EBSCO databases at once, but if you really like to narrow things down, you can go straight to the databases themselves. The nice thing about doing this is that you know everything in the database is related to your field. So for example, Eric is all education stuff, in this case, the pasta aisle. The individual databases also have subject terms, or a thesaurus, that can help you find what you're looking for. It's the words you use to search that database. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is still not soup. Well, pasta can greatly enhance soup. However, since we were looking for psychology soup, that's over in PsycInfo. As you can see, it's all soup. Now some things, book reviews, lit reviews, might not be the best soup for your paper, but most of what is there is exactly the sort of source your professor wants you to use. Just think, if you'd started here, you would have been done by now. We hope this has been helpful, and don't forget, you can always ask a librarian.